to Local Spotlight, the platform for showcasing well-known and not so well-known entertainers here in the Washington metropolitan area. Hi, my name is Terry S. and I am your host. Well, you know, as you all know, the Washington area is full of lots of talent, some well-known and, so and some not so well-known, which is the reason why we developed this program entitled Local Spotlight, so that we can give individuals a chance to share their talent, to let you know who they are, what they're doing, and what's going on. All right, let me introduce you to our first guest. This gentleman is a singer, songwriter, musician. He's performed on both the local level and national level. He is an awesome, awesome individual in addition to being an awesome musician. Why don't you put your hands together this evening for Mr. Marcus Young. Hi Marcus, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get started in the music business? Well, let's see, I, I got started at an early age. Um, my father is actually a music teacher. So at an early age, he started me off by sitting me in front of different instruments and kind of showing me the basics. Wonderful, and you've been in it from, from that point on, huh? From that point on. Wow, sounds like he was born to do this, huh? <laughs> well, tell me, um, so in, in, in terms of years, how long would you say you've been a musician that we're looking at in terms of performing? How long have oh, you been performing? I've been performing as a professional musician, I would say, maybe for maybe about two years now. Wow. Um, yeah, this is something new that I've started doing, actually, as a professional jazz musician. So I would say maybe two, three years. Wow, and I can tell you've been very successful. I mean, this guy is absolutely, absolutely awesome. Um, tell me, in, a, in addition to piano, I know that's your main instrument, mm -hmm. what other instruments do you play? Well, I play uh, piano, of course, I play drums, and I play the bass, and a little bit of guitar. Um, that, I have to thank my father for that. Um, he actually played in a band. The band split up, okay. so all of the equipment ended up at our house. Wonderful. So, as toys, I'm a little kid, I go downstairs and I mess around with all the different instruments. Right. So that's how I kind of got a feel for everything. That is so awesome. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who would love to get that opportunity to be able to just familiarize yourself with all the instruments, you know. I understand you sing a little bit too. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Not as much as you. Oh, well, well, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> that's another interview. <laughs> I'll let you do me next time, okay, right? Okay, okay, all right. Well, tell me, out of all the instruments that you had the opportunity to play, why is it that you chose the piano? Well, that's a good question. Um, actually, I chose the piano because I like the fact that the piano can be played kind of with no other instrument. And I actually started on the acoustic piano. When I heard the sound of the acoustic piano just by itself, I kind of fell in love with that. Yeah, I can imagine. I love piano too. That's one of my favorites. Now look, tell us about, I understand you did a tour with the armed services. Yes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about it? When sure. and how it all went? Sure. It was, with, it was through um, an organization called Armed Forces Entertainment. What they do is they take artists and they, they bring them overseas and they have us perform for the troops. So, you know, while the troops are overseas serving the country, we got a chance to go over there and perform live music, perform three day bands. They had a good time. So, they really so where did you go exactly? Um, I was in Southwest Asia. Um, I visited a couple of different countries. I also got to visit one country in Africa, Djibouti. Oh, I know that was a wonderful experience. How many pieces did you take over there with three pieces? Um, we went over there with a three piece, um, myself, a drummer, and a bass player. I also had a vocalist as well. I'm sure you'd like to do that again. It sounds sure. like something you'd want to do again, right? I would love to. <laughs> All right. Well, tell me something. Where do you see yourself in three years? Okay. In three years, I'm actually right now I'm working on a studio. I'm home base, I'm building in my house, so in three years I plan to have that complete. Listen up, you <laughs> artists. Yeah. You're gonna be able to give us a little bit more information about where you can get contact with oh. So that is awesome. A lot of people are doing the in-home studio. Right, I mean right, some are right. better than others, of course, and I'm sure yours is gonna be one of the best. So you're absolutely awesome. I'm looking forward to that. I'd love to hear about that. Okay. Hear about that too. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, 
what advice would you give to aspiring artists? A lot of young people out here in the Washington metropolitan area are aspiring to do what you're doing right now. They look up to you, you're like their mentor. So tell me, or tell us what you would tell them. What would you give them? What type of advice? Oh, okay. Um, for young aspiring artists, I would definitely tell them to practice. Um, you definitely want to keep practicing. Um, don't let anybody steer you away from your dreams. Sky's the limit. Practice, 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 and you'll be surprised how far you go. Right, right. Well, look, this is awesome now. You guys, Marcus, we're actually here at Zanzibar on the waterfront in Washington, D.C., and we just had the awesome opportunity of hearing Marcus perform here for the Sunday brunch. Um, Magic 103. 102.3 are the host, along with Zanzibar, of course, and Marcus is here every Sunday. Tell us a little bit about this uh, performance, the days. I just told you the day, but give sure. us a little more information on time and how sure, yeah. you get I'm here at the brunch um, actually every Sunday. We start about 1.30, go to about 3.30. Um, got the buffet with the crab legs and food and live entertainment. <laughs> Good food. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting good hungry food. now. <laughs> every Sunday, I'm, I'm here. Every oh, Sunday. that's so awesome! How can people get in contact with you? How can they buy your CD? How can they see more of Marcus Young? All right. Well, I do have a website. The uh, URL is my name: www.mrmarcusyoung.com. www.mrmarcusyoung.com. CDs are available on the website. Also, if you can visit CD Baby and get the CDs, I have a MySpace page, I have a Facebook page. Check it all out. Hey, he's giving you all that you need, so guys, hit him up. Hit him up on Facebook, send him a message on MySpace, let him know you saw him and you love the interview. We had a great time. Marcus, I want to thank you for joining us here at Spotlight, Local right. Spotlight. Marcus is actually our first guest and we are so excited. So if you guys are interested, just give us a call, alright? Thank you.